Cowabunga dudes and dudettes, this is Anthony, aka BatBomb82, and I got a ton of PowerCon 2023 exclusive Glios figures for you guys, so let's just jump right into it. Alright guys, so I'm going to break this video down into sections, and I'm going to start off here with some Warlords of War. Now we're going to go with this guy first and foremost, this is the Elipid Handler which I think looks so freaking good, man. Again, doing more of those like G.I. Joe homages, which I think look fantastic. I love the paint apps on that helmet with the red eyes and the silver around the jaw. Looks really good. And then you got that sweet Elipid uh, logo right there on the chest. Looking really nice. A little bit of yellow on the belt buckle itself. Just looks so freaking good. Now you see all the things that he comes with as well. This is such a great looking figure. I love the armor. Looks really fantastic. You even get that sweet Elipid head which looks really good too. And I even love the different helmets with like one with the little mask. I think the, the red mask going around the face, I think it looks awesome as well and all his different weapons and arm attachments. But the best accessory for this guy has gotta be the fact that he comes with a little alligator. That's super dope, man. A little rubbery little alligator, just so you can pose with him and things like that. I think that is a lot of fun. Uh, this is gonna be exclusively through Roma Collectibles. You know, Roma has done exclusive through Warlords of War before, and they really are, you know, upping it up with those G.I. Joe homages, which, again, I think are all fantastic. I have every last one of them, and they are just so much fun. So this is another great addition to that line. Next up, we're going to move on to Schism here, which is so freaking good, man. I love this so much. The colors are just great. The oranges, the blues, the pinks. I mean, this is just a fun, fun design. And clearly this is our Manny Faces tribute, which is just looking really, really good. I love this one so much. Uh, you can see all the different things that he comes with as well. Again, into those bright pinks and blues and oranges and things like that. I just love that so much. Uh, but the, the deco and the tampo on this just looks really good. I love all the detail that's on this figure. And what's really cool with those different heads, you can have the three different versions of your quote unquote Manny faces being schism here. You got the more human face, you got the robot face, and you got more like that monster face, which again, I think looks really good. So all of them are so really nice. But what I think is really cool too, I mean, hey, we also get that Eliped there ahead, which I love is one of my favorite in Glios, which I think looks really cool. Uh, maybe he could infiltrate the Snake Men or something, you know what I mean? So again, just a lot of fun. This is definitely one I've been waiting for for quite some time now, and it's really cool to finally have him in Glios form. Next up, we're gonna have Nosfero here, which looks freaking rad, dude. I love how this turned out. Uh, this is clearly gonna be our Hordak tribute. I absolutely love the bat head sculpt done in that like weird fleshy tone that Hordak normally has, and the red teeth look so good. I love the tampoing on the chest there, the grays, the blacks, those polished red, looks so good, the wings look fantastic. I love that even like the toe claws and things like that are painted as well. You get that really sweet battle axe, even the blaster cannon for the arm, that is so freaking genius. So you can see all the different things that he comes with as well again done in all those different colors i love the fact that he comes with the standard battle tries boots done in the black and red i love that skull head of course all the time love the monster demon head the red sword all that stuff is just great and again i love the arm cannon attachments uh just adding that to this is just perfect since you know he can have that interchanging arm with an arm cannon i think is really really cool uh then we're actually going to get a battle builder with this one and if for those of you that aren't uh, familiar with what a battle builder is, it's basically an unpainted figure uh, coordinated with a painted figure, which being this one right here, just done in a standard singular color. And you can see all the different pieces that he comes with too. Uh, again, all done in that similar gray. And I love this, man. It kind of has this like golem, gargoyle thing going on just in that simple gray. It looks good, man. I really do dig that. But man, I'm just very surprised at how much I really love this one. I even though it's a metallic silver belt, that arm cannon is just sweet, dude. Pew, pew, pew. I love it so much. So now we're going to move on to some battle tribes here. This is the exclusive that they're offering this year. And we're going to start off with this bad boy first. 
So this is actually sponsored and designed by McCTX Toys. Uh, he's actually done some Battle Trice figures in the past. Uh, so this is the newest one for PowerCon, which is going to be exclusively through the Spy Monkey Shop. Uh, I just love this man. First of all, we got that soft goods cape, fantastic. The head sculpt and paint look great, and I love the decoing on here. That giant axe looks so good. Clearly, this is going to be our more, uh, you know, new adventure Skeletor. And if you have the, you know, again, quote unquote, He-Man figure from before, that's going to go really nice side side by side by side with this one right here. And you can saw, see all his different pieces as well. Uh, the bat head looks great. I love the paint on that. The wings. All looks super good. Um, what I do like specifically though is the demon head. I just love how they did this with those colors. Uh, then the head and the crown and the horns all kind of have that helmeted look that uh, you know the new adventure Skeletor would have had. So that works. I think either of these would look great with this particular figure. So let me just go ahead and do that for you guys so you can actually see what it looks like. Take that off pop that on and there you go and again i think that looks very good as well next up we have guardian of the green which is fantastic man uh this is going to initially be our moss man tribute which is so cool finally have him uh in these whole tribute uh figures that we got from battle tribes and warlords i just love the paint on this that yellow that kind of like fades onto the green looks really nice and i love all the tampo in there to give him that kind of like furry fuzzy feel which i think looks really cool uh, i would love to actually see a flocked battle tribe at some point that would be insane so i love that a lot and you can see all the different accessories that he comes with as well again done in a lot of those yellow pieces and the greens and things like that looks awesome i also do love the fact <clears throat> that we actually they actually included like that yellow armor what i which i think is a lot of fun so i could pop this off and then pop that on there so i can do this like so and then pop that off Pop that leg back on like that so you could have that yellow armor feel, which again, I think is pretty cool. I do like that a whole ton, uh, but I also really love the uh, the masked wolf mask head sculpt with the yellow mask. I think that looks killer, man. That is a great look for this character. And probably my favorite from this lineup, as I'm such a giant Faker fan, we have the prototype doppelganger. I just love this so much because we're kind of almost getting like a battle armor, which is really cool. Uh, and I love the tampoing on here with that logo again on the chest and on the shield like that. Looks really good. Uh, I love the face paint around the eyes to have almost that Leo Faker kind of vibe to it, which I think again looks really good. The hair looks nice, the blues, the purples. All looks fantastic. And you can see all the different accessories that he comes with here. Um, again, one of those bright neon pinks. I think it's so cool that we're actually getting like a pink armor version of, of this character almost. Uh, and he gets kind of feels deluxe because you get battle tribe pieces, you get the clobber mold from Worlds of War. So that's all really cool too. And what I do like, uh, you take this these pieces off. And you can slide off this armor there. And you can see a really nice tampoing on the chest that just looks so good. And if you have that original doppelganger from quite some time ago, I think those two just look incredible side by side. Uh, and they match up pretty nicely. Uh, the hair's a little different. The shades of purple might be a little different. But again, they still look really fantastic. Uh, again, side by side. Next up, we're gonna move on to some Cappy Space Drops for the con here, which are gonna be so much fun. So we have this new Yayville Pink, uh, which is a new colorway that we're seeing from Cappy here, which I love. Now see, these molds are fantastic. These are just static little minifigures. And this is what I talk about when I say why I love Glyos, because Glyos toys remind me of those pocket toys and those old gumball machine toys that I grew up with as a kid. And these molds are exactly replicas of stuff like that that I've seen as a kid and again that I grew up with. Just static little figures with really cool designs and that's why I love these things and other figures like Battle Tribes, Worlds of War and all those other things from Goliaths. Next up here we have the Yeville subject again. The like bubblegum pink that we get going on is so good. Those lavenders look really nice. I love even like the more like rainbow shoulder pads that we get going on here. Just looks so good. Again, the bright colors remind me of my childhood back in like the 80s where everything was just so bright and fun and colorful. 
and I love toys with a ton of color. And again, this is totally reminiscent of that. Uh, we get a bunch of different head sculpts with this guy. So I kind of just want to show off at least a couple of those, which I think is really cool. So I'm going to take this off here and I'm going to put on, let's just say I'm going to put on this little head right here. If we can get that on, which looks really cool. So I do love that, but we get options with this because this guy can have helmets like that, or she could be a she. Uh, we do, you can reverse it and I have a head like that. We can take that off. We can put on this head right here, or helmet, excuse me, like that. So that works out really good too. Or we could take that off and we have this big bulky helmet, which I think looks freaking awesome, man. That looks so freaking cool. Uh, so I'm gonna take that off and that off because I think my favorite head sculpt for this particular one is definitely gonna be this head right here. I love this head so much. That like shark fin look to it. The almost like skull face with the blue eyes. Just a lot of fun. And again, the colors, man, really stand out to me. Next, we have the Ditto Ket Crayboth. This one speaks to me on so many levels. So like a lot of you may know, I am a giant faker fan. And this is just perfect to go along if you have that Battle Tribes Faker homage from a very long time ago. And these two just look great side by side. Now this is of course meant to be an homage to Faker's Mount uh, that we saw in Origins a couple years ago from the PowerCon. Uh, that was just a pain in the butt to get. But this is cool man, I love the little stripes, the orange chest, the blues and the silvers to make it a little more robotic. I am so stoked with this. I would love a whole army of just this particular Krayboth. And lastly, we have the Lingual Fibian, a new mischiever, man. I remember uh, showing you guys the first mischievers that we got in a video uh, a few months back, which were just tremendous hits because these are great little figures. But this Deco, man, of obviously a tribute to Tongue Lash or the best snake men out there even though he kind of looks like a frog he's part of the snake man damn it uh but the colors do that pink the purple markings the orange belly the blacks all look so freaking cool i'm gonna say freaking a lot in this video have you guys noticed that yet but anyways i also get that really sweet belfry head i love the belfry head. it looks adorable in these colors with that pinks again just love this so much but like we've seen with the previous releases of the Mischievers, we also do get an accessory set. And now we can have him fully geared up with that accessories pack. And again, the colors, dude, look so good. I'm, I cannot stop touting about the colors when it comes to all these toys. But that, that like turquoise, that really deep turquoise, the purples, the lime greens of like the necklace, and that little Krayboth medallion bracelet that they have there, I think is just so good. The backpack with the sword holster on the back, uh, that just, again, looks so good. I love having this part, the backpack kind of like upside down to show off like the rolled up piece up here or tube, whatever you want to call it, uh, just so it could show off a little better from the back. So I do like that. I mean, they're your toys. You can display them however you want, you know what I mean? And I love that sweet hammer. Uh, in these accessories packs, they sell out really fast, man. I know they sold out super quick on the first Mischievous drop. I don't see this being any different, but man, again, look at this. This is just such a cool little toy. And next up, we have stuff from the Biomasters. Now, these are just a ton of fun. These are done in those Yeville colors that we just saw from Cappy Space. Again, the pinks, the rainbows, the purples, all of that is just so much fun. Again, very 80s, very much the stuff that I grew up on, you know, Gem and the Holograms, Barbie, all that kind of stuff. Just very cool looking toys. And you can see, just see how incredible these look with those colors. I love the eyeballs right there on the belly and on the knee. The purples look really great. I love this very pale blue that we're getting throughout there. You can see like the rainbow colors going down the arms or those, you know, the legs look fantastic, dude. And you do get some alternate pieces, like alternate heads. And if you have any of these molds, you know what to expect. But that like almost like dragon head looks really cool. I love this like blob ooze head. It looks like, it looks like a gumball, melting gumball or something like that. It just looks so freaking cool even get this like little blaster piece or a stub with the rain it looks like those toys that you remember 
those little toys that you play with, like as a, oh my, I just dropped it, as a very little kid, and you would stack the like little plastic donut rings on top of each other, and they're all like rainbow colors. That's what that reminds me of. So I think that's very cool. Again, I just love this design, dude. Uh, you know, Pat Bussy over there at um, Biomasters has just done some incredible stuff. And again, some of the best molds that come out of Glios in quite some time, because this is a gnarly looking character. And of course, we have to have the biomass monster itself here. Just one of those weird designs that I just ended up loving once I got them in, you know, and I have almost the entire collection of these. I think they're just such fun looking designs. And again, all the pinks and purples. I love the rainbow tentacles. I think that looks like a lot of fun. But what I really do like the eyeball, the green eyeball on the actual face right there. You got a blue eyeball right there. You have an orange or yellowish eyeball right there, and then a red eyeball right there. So there, these things are just packed with color. Just so much fun. Again, really crazy to see this gnarly design done in such fun, playful colors. That really makes me love it even more so. And then we have this guy, the newest addition to the Mischievers. I absolutely love the Mischievers. They are some of my favorite characters out right now to come out uh, with Glios. And again, these are just fun little mini characters. Uh, this one done in that Yeaville uh, pink with the little light blue eyes, the pale pink on the belly and the ears. I do have the Belfry head on there. Uh, he does come with the more lizard-like head with that with the big blue eyes. I think that's really cool. But I don't know, for some reason, like a bubblegum pink bat little character works for me. So I do love this a lot, but that's not it because this guy also comes with that really awesome accessories kit for the little mischievers here. So you got the bracers, you got the necklace, you got that really cool Kraboth bracelet. You got his backpack there with a little holster for like things like his awesome hammer and he has a really cool sword. So I just think this looks so good. And again, just seeing it with the, all the other pink characters and I'll bring in one of the uh, Cappy figures right here. These all just look so good together. The colors are fantastic. Uh, and even if you want to take like this head, this head off right here, and you want to bring in that dragon head I just showed you, you could pop that on here like that, and that works out really cool too. You know, they even have clawed hands for the other figures that you could pop onto this little guy right here and make them a little more menacing. So again, this is just a lot of fun, man. These are all just such fun toys, and the colors are amazing. So there it is guys, my look at a ton of new PowerCon exclusive Glios figures from Battle Tribes, Warlords of War, Cappy Space, and the Biomasters. Now these are such fun and awesome toys and I could not be more excited to have each and every one of them in the collection. Now all of these figures have been sold exclusively at the convention first, but I'm sure leftover stock will be sold at the individual sites in which I will leave links in the bios. So don't forget to be excellent to each other, and stay nerdy, my friends. Peace.